Action! Actor Armand Asante was on Long Island recently to star in a few scenes for director Fred Carpenter's new independent action film, The Night Never Sleeps. Check out this special behind-the-scenes look at the making of the film. The two scenes were shot in Greenfield Cemetery in Hempstead and at the Baldwin Fire Department headquarters in Baldwin. I had some uh, wonderful experiences in Long Island. I, I shot originally uh, a film called I, the Jury here many years ago. I shot uh, American Gangster. I worked on a film, Jesse, a few years back with, uh, with uh, Fred Carpenter. And this one with Dan Adams uh, and, and Fred again. So uh, all my experiences have been uh, very rewarding, very positive. Oh, this is great. I mean, Armand has been here before. He's filmed in Nassau County um, at Wellwyn Preserve for some major features and television shows we had. But to have him come back in independent films is just incredible. He's such a major talent, and he's working so well with our local filmmakers. Oh, I loved it. I, I loved it. He's so intense, and he's so good. And he was um, acting today with Dan Brennan, who usually is a comedic talent. So to see him pull such a serious part and the two of them together, it's, it's amazing. But well, these are thoroughbreds. If you're a director and you want to look good, have amazing actors and uh, they really you know uh, filmmaking is a story of uh, it's a, su a suspension of disbelief so you're taking people to go on that journey and if you have phenomenal actors taking the audience on that journey it gets you to the end and for a very exciting and entertaining ride this is uh, Greenfield Cemetery it's the end of the film where uh, uh, oh, uh, detective uh, Kavanaugh played by uh, Dan Brennan uh, is looking at the grave of his partner who got killed and the IA guy, which is played by Armand Asante, uh, you know, confronts him about what's going on. And there's a whole thing going on about, you know, good cop, bad cop. And it was just a uh, great scene, uh, amazing acting. We're making a Hollywood level film, action picture, storyline, bad cops, good cops, twists and turns. It's, uh, it's, it's an ass kicker. Photography, our DP is phenomenal. Sound work, and it's just a great group of people. Phenomenal group of people I had the opportunity to work with. It's a, you know, life is full. I always say life is like moments. And, uh, you know, if you have more good moments than bad moments, you had a pretty good life. And the production of this movie has been a great moment. It's not about truth, is it? It never was about the truth. It's about how you look, you know, how you perceive. It's about decorum. Give me a little smoke in the mirrors, will you? Somewhere. I mean, give me something. Action! Asante says what really drew him to the project was the quality of the film's script. He even had a scene with the writer who co-stars in the film. I use writing as a barometer of whether or not I could... Uh... Uh, hopefully embody something. <laughs> but I like the writing. Uh, the gentleman who wrote it is a uh, career police person, and uh, he, he writes uh, material that's, uh, from his own experience. And I think he really has a, has a certain uh, facility for the language of that genre. You know? and I use writing as a barometer for what I, I try to work on. I talked to him extensively about um, the reality of internal affairs, the responsibility of it, the, um, in a way, the, it's a private world, a secular world, it's kind of a, um, it's a career that not too many men aspire to be in, and it's uh, very image-oriented, it's about code, it's about the image of the police, and there's a lot of complications applied to it because it's about law and it's about men of uh, men that adhere to the law in a very uh, severe way so it's a very interesting kind of role I've been a big fan of Asante since Paradise Alley when the, the Stallone film um, when I wrote this I never had any idea that he'd be in this I wrote a couple other scripts and I and I, I just didn't have the connection to get to, uh, my, my scripts to these type of actors so uh, this to me is a uh, you know, I'm on cloud nine. Asante's playing Carmine Romanelli. Carmine, Inspector Carmine Romanelli. He's an inspector of internal affairs in the boroughs. He tips off Kavanaugh uh, that there may be an investigation on somebody in Kavanaugh's squad. This is something that uh, Romanelli's character would never do. But because he does have a history with Kavanaugh, he uh, does go beyond and does tip him off that he's un his people are under investigation. The, the character Romanelli 
is what we call a true believer. Believes into the believes police department. He owes his allegiance to the police department, but he still has ties to the cops on the street because he was a street cop, and that's why he's uh, tipping off Kavanaugh. That's the connection there. The scenes sort of bookend the movie. We have Romanelli coming in at the beginning of the movie to tip Kavanaugh off, and then at the end of the film, Romanelli shows up again. Why is Romanelli there? Well, Romanelli is ba basically putting Kavanaugh back on track. He's reminding Kavanaugh what his job is. Kavanaugh is the type of cop who be really truly believes that he works for the people of the state of New York, the people of the city of New York. He works for the people. He doesn't work for an institution known as the New York City Police Department. He believes he works for the people. Whereas characters like, uh, uh, like Romanelli or a lesser character than Romanelli, he works for the institution. He works for the government. He doesn't work for the people. He works for the institution of the police department. So there, that's that's the um, that's the dichotomy right there. That's what it's, what it's all about. They work for the people, but then again, they they work for the institution. Well, what's it like to work with Armand Asante? Well, not only is he a great actor, he's great to the actors he works with. Working with Armand Asante is is a dream come true because I'm not only um, an actor in the movie with him, I'm a fan. So you're hoping that this guy you're a huge fan of is, is going to be nice and easy to work with. And he's better than nice. He's incredibly generous. He's constantly giving you tips. He's giving you all these different ideas on how to approach the scene. He insists on a lot of rehearsal. We rehearsed for three hours. And he was teaching me everything about what to do with your eyes, how to play the emotion. And that is, you can't get more generous than that. It's so remarkable. We had this scene we shot today in the cemetery, and it's a very, very emotional scene for me. I'm, I'm very upset. And he was not gonna let me finish the scene until I nailed it. He would repeat lines over and over again just to get the right response. And then once he got it, he looked at me and goes, okay, that was good. Now we got something. And that's like the greatest thrill, because not only to work with him, but then for him to say, hey, you know, he did a good job. I mean, that's what it's all about. When you're acting with him in a scene, it's the best seat in the house. I mean, it's the ultimate close-up. You're right there. You're in the movie with him. It's better than 3D. It's, it's the most incredible experience an actor can have. I got to meet him today. He's awesome. He's so friendly. And just getting to watch him work was amazing. Seeing all those clips that Pichy put together was great. Seeing him in his movies and then actually being right there with him. It's amazing. So professional how he would like redo his lines over and over to either give him something different or to get something different from Dan. That was awesome. I, I, I didn't I kinda don't know you could do that when you're new and seeing him do it, you're like, Oh, I could be doing that next time. I'm gonna use that. I'm stealing it. It's an interesting uh, role that Dan Brennan has because uh, it's a relationship that goes back a long way. And obviously he uh, is a kind of a protege of mine. And um, I kind of call him on his um, apathy about certain things. And what he uh, comes to realize through me is that he's got to pay uh, a little more attention to the store. So it's a very interesting confrontational but um, responsible relationship. The Night Never Sleeps, which has been shooting all over Long Island, is close to wrapping up, which means you'll get to see it in a theater near you this summer. Chris Kalora reporting.